At the time I was diagnosed, I was, uh, I was working as a heavy equipment operator and a welder. And I also was in charge of a maintenance crew. And being in charge of other men, I suddenly lost the ability to lead very well. And I started having driving problems, so I, I couldn't drive the equipment anymore. The welding, I, I kept, still was able to do, so I stayed in the welding shop for the most part. And was uh, evaluated for a, a trial study where they would inject a GATA gene into my brain, and it was supposed to calm things down. And it was sort of like a, a chemical way of doing the deep, deep brain stimulation. The deep brain stimulation we didn't think would work for me because welding affects the, the pacemaker type item that it goes with that. So it, when I started welding, I, I would lose all all uh, ability. So that we thought that the chemical might work out, and so they, that wasn't for a cure, it was just to straighten some things up, and so I still would have Parkinson's if, you know, if the gadget didn't work. So they did that operation, and, uh, and I got better quite quickly, but before I took the, uh, went in for the operation, I, I could hardly speak, I could hardly walk, and, but then I came out and and I was doing a lot better. About 10 years after I was diagnosed, I was still working as a welder at a job I had. And, and I, uh, I, had, I had this idea a long time ago of doing flatware, welding flatware together and making sculptures out of them. And so I thought I'd try that idea again. And so after I'd had Parkinson's for 10 years, I started a new career as a sculptor. But I'm on, I'm on state-of-the-art medicine, and I'm on state-of-the-art state uh, physical therapy. So I don't think there's any place that better in the state than Ohio State. Because there's so many doctors there. So if, they, if they don't know, they ask the next guy. We bring in a specialist every time I go. Uh, I, I think I'm taking about as well care as I can, can be.